hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have p plus 5 is equal to p and we solve this problem for the values of p so here uh, we first find the values of p uh, if the question statement is in your exam is that uh, find the values or find the roots of p okay so then how do you, how you find the values of p but if you can see directly from here you cannot find any values of p but here i can give you a nice tricks in which you can easily get the values of p so that uh, here in the first method i can give you uh, the trick in which you can find the values of p and here in the second method i can solve this problem directly so please watch both of these methods and i hope so you like both of these methods so further uh, we solve uh, or we move towards the solution of this question and here in order to find the values of p first we need to taking the squaring on both of the sides of this equation and when you will take squaring it will be written as p plus 5 square is equals to p square and further in the next step we move this p square into the left hand side and it will be written as p plus 5 square minus p square is equals to 0 and in the next step we use here the nice algebraic formula uh, to solve the this problem for the values of p so you know that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so this is the our algebraic formula and according to this formula you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so our first factor is a minus b times of a plus b and the value of a is p plus 5 minus the value of b is p and again we have a plus b the value of a is p plus 5 and uh, plus the value of b is p and this whole equation is equals to 0. From here you see that this p is cancelled out by this p and we will get here this is 5 times of here we have p plus p becomes 2p plus 5 is equals to 0 and because we saw this problem for the values of p so that's why here we first need to remove this p from left hand side uh, for this we divide both of the sides by 5 so when we divide both of the sides by 5 it will be written as uh, this 5 is cancelled out by this 5 and we obtain here 2 plus 5 is equals to 0 divided by 5 becomes 0 and from here we find the values of p for this we need to move this plus 5 to the right hand side uh, and uh, this will be written as 2p is equal to this is plus 5 becomes minus 5 and now here uh, for the values of p we need to divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide both of the sides by 2 uh, this will be written as in this form this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here p is equal to minus 5 divided by 2 so here we get uh, this is the value of p uh, which we get here into the first method and now here in the next step so we will be verify that is this value of p be the solution of the given equation or is this value of p be the extraneous root so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is p plus 5 is equals to p this is the our given question statement and now we substitute the value of p on both of the sides of this equation so when you put this value here it will becomes minus 5 over 2 plus 5 is equals to this is also p and we get this is equals to minus 5 over 2 and now here we need little bit simplification into the left hand side so here we take the lcm of this term and its lcm becomes 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get minus 5 plus this is 2 times of 5 becomes 10 is equals to minus 5 divided by 2 and now you see here we have minus 5 plus 10 becomes 5 over 2 is equals to minus 5 over 2 so this shows that both of the sides are not equal so this means that 
the value of p is equals to minus 5 over 2 is not satisfied over given question statement because this is uh, not possible okay it is not possible that plus 5 over 2 is equal to minus 5 over 2 so here uh, the value of p is not satisfied over given question statement so we call the value of p be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation and uh, the final conclusion about the solution of this problem is that uh, this question has uh, no solution okay so this is the final answer which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method and in the second method we need to copy down given question statement here uh, the given question statement is that uh, we have this is p plus 5 is equal to p this is the our given question statement and here the second method is the uh, to the point method or here i can just directly find the values of p or we just directly conclude about the solution of this problem so here we will need to move this p to the right hand side and it will becomes p minus p so these two are gone and we get here 5 is equals to 0 so this shows that 5 is not equals to 0 uh, it is not possible case 5 is equals to 0 so if 5 not equal to 0 this means that we cannot get any values of p so uh, our final conclusion about this question is that it has no solution in general okay so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos